Okay guys, it took me a few minutes to find a place where I could try to get this truck stuck. Look at that. In fact, I'm even gonna jump out. So I am, call me crazy, but look at that. It's just turning in a little spot of ice here, slightly uphill. The other tire's moving slowly. All right. <laughs> so, all right, Brody, get back in. Get back in the truck. Okay. So we're gonna turn on the electric locking differential now they're both turning the same speed still not going anywhere so you know these Michelin tires let me show you here real quick I'm gonna put it in park so this is what I'm talking about we've got 35,000 miles on these tires and um, all the siping is gone but there's approximately um, six or seven 30 seconds of tread depth here I mean there's there's quite a bit of tread depth, but there is no siping remaining on these Michelin LTX AT2 tires. And, you know, I've made all kinds of videos on tires and how they, how these tire manufacturers sometimes don't create siping that goes down all the way. Um, here's my front. You got a little bit of siping here. You can pick that up, but it's not much. That's probably less than one-tenth of uh of siping here's my right front you know this is completely slick so and now let's go back to the right rear and uh so we got here we got a little just a smidge i mean it is almost gone i mean 500 more miles and that siping is going to be gone it's kind of hard to pick it up here in the light but kind of see it there a little bit so you know we are on a flat part of the road right here now it is ice right it is slippery but we're just in a flat area and uh and you know the truck is spinning so I mean, maybe there's a, a little bit of a hill but it is it's not much so all right let's keep the video rolling and i am going to now we've got our electronic differential locked again now we're back in you can see that back in drive we've got nothing so now we're going to put it in four-wheel drive high so we're shifting make sure it's locked in it's locked in okay all right now let's see if we can pull away we're not able to pull away here either so let's get a video of the front tire make sure the front tires are moving yeah we're stuck we're in a little bit of a dugout so I'm gonna back it up all right and here we go now we'll go forward all right we made it through so again I'm in four-wheel drive and we're getting a little bit of traction here I'm gonna put it back in two-wheel drive and I still have the electronic axle locked. Let's see, get my camera angled in here. We're moving, but you know, it's just it's slippery. These tires are okay. You know, they're not the greatest. Thirty-five thousand miles. The siping is gone. These are the kind of conditions where you want siping. Um, siping is what helps, especially in icy conditions. Here we are again, you can see, just not getting hardly anywhere. So, you know, I think one of the questions I'm gonna ask next time I look for AT tires is, the siping on the tires, is it, is it go down the full uh, depth of the tread block because these manufacturers that only create their siping down part way, I think they're kind of selling a short a little bit. All right, we, we caught a little bit of a thinner ice right there. So anyway, guys, all right, I wanted to share that with you. 
Um, we had about, I don't know, a quarter inch of ice that came down last night here in St. Louis. And there's there are accidents all over the place. Uh, there's a semi truck that spilled over on our highway that's close to our house today carrying a load of strawberries. And, uh, you know, it was it was it's, it's it's been a it's been a pretty good storm and in four-wheel drive you know we are getting around just fine but i wanted to kind of highlight that a little bit around you know what the, these michelin tires are again like i've said in previous videos you know they're really more of a highway tire than they are an all-terrain tire where they excel is dry and rainy conditions they excel at towing. They're uh, a reliable, durable, sturdy tire that is uh, built to really, um, you know, last. You know, last quite a while. But you, um, you, you know, enter some conditions that are a little bit challenging, like a uh, muddy, muddy hill, um, wet grass, uh, a quarter inch of ice, even if it's you know relatively flat then um, these tires are gonna struggle a little bit. Now we did have about 12 inches of snow a couple weeks ago. And again, in four wheel drive, I could get around fine. I was actually one of the few vehicles that was making it up and down all the hills in our neighborhood. I was rescuing people with this truck, even though these tires are not brand new and in this condition. So, you know, I'm not saying they're the worst tires in the world. I'm just saying, I really wish, especially manufacturer like Michelin would, um, you know, create siping that would go full tread depth. And um, I think there's other tires out there that are probably a little bit better. Although, you know, if the mission for, for your vehicle is maybe you're down in the south and you do a lot of towing in dry conditions, uh, you face rain, but don't face a lot of snow, mud, wet grass, um, conditions like that, these tires are probably an excellent choice. So it's just, you know, the application that you're, uh, that you're looking for and uh, buying the right tires to, to fit that job. So anyway, with that, I'm gonna let you go, but I will link our other Michelin tire videos here at the end of this, uh, the end of this video. And if you've got any questions, let me know. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, click on that bell, and share this video with any of your friends who are uh, in the market for new tires for Super Duty. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day. Take care, bye.